welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Crystal. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I truly appreciate it. So today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. So we're going to be starting off in my master bedroom and bathroom. Then we're going to be going into the entryway, the dining room, living room, and kitchen. Now in this video, aside from cleaning, I also wanted to show you guys a couple of hacks that I have mentioned in previous videos. I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys about those again if you guys are interested in using those hacks around your home. And then I also wanted to show you guys a couple of organizational things that I purchased from Dollar Tree a few days ago to use in my master bathroom. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now we are in my master bathroom and I wanna go ahead and show you guys a couple of the things that I purchased from Dollar Tree. This basket, well these two baskets right here have a beautiful um, floral, that's like yeah floral laser cut all the way around i purchased both of these from dollar tree they are both a light gray color and then i also purchased several of these glass jars i have one in this style that i'm not too sure what i'm going to put in yet i have two of these that you can also lay on the side if you want to and they came with these two lids but i'm not going to use the lids since what I'm using it for stands up too tall. And then down here, I also bought three of these. I have one for my Q-tips, cotton balls, and then obviously we all know what these are. And this basket is not from Dollar Tree, but I believe this is from Ross. It came with several hand towels, but I just took the hand towels out and used it to hold these items. But I think this looks wonderful on this shelf right here. Now, the shelf at the very top up here has extra products that I don't have a place to store right now. Hopefully I can move these either into the laundry room or under the sink at some point but let's just focus on these two right now because I really like the way this came out. So the main thing I'm going to focus on in the bathroom today is cleaning the mirror and the sink area. Like I said before I did a little bathroom organization a few days ago and while I did that I went on ahead and I cleaned the toilet area as well as the shelves that those new baskets are sitting on so right now I'm just going to focus on this area and then move on into my bedroom. I also wanted to recommend purchasing a toothbrush holder like the one that I have right now. It is just a toothbrush rack I guess is what you would call it. I used to have the traditional little cup that you would put the toothbrushes in but then of course um, those were really hard to clean because the um, the water would drip to the bottom and after a while it would get moldy. So this is 10 times easier to clean. There is nothing for the water to get stuck on so I definitely recommend picking up something like this to hold your toothbrushes in. Now I'm going to move on into the bedroom. I'm just going to remove Jacob's little bouncy chair and then I'm going to make the bed and clean my dresser area. I'm just going to go ahead and clean off some clutter and use some pledge to polish up the dresser. Now I know that my husband has his brown leather duffel bag right here and I, right now I just leave it there but later on I do decide to move it into the closet where it just makes more sense for it to be. 
I also moved a couple of little picture strips that I had next to our picture frame. I moved them to my side table. And then I'm also trying to lay out these little keychains as well as a pocket knife that I gave my husband for Father's Day. I'm trying to lay it out a little bit nicer. I wanted to try and hang the little keychain from the frame, but as you can see, that did not work out. Another thing that I need to do more often is dust this windowsill. Normally I do not open the curtains of this window. The only time I do so is when I'm filming a video so I can get some good light in the bedroom. So I'm definitely going to have to start remembering to dust down here a lot more often. As you can see I have to wipe off my leggings because a lot of dust blew up on me. Now I'm going to go ahead and fold some clothes that have been sitting in my hamper for the last couple of days and then I'm going to do some vacuuming before we move on into the entryway. And I will definitely say that I am not the neatest folder of clothing. I basically just fold it to get it smaller as long as it is smaller than the way it started out that's good enough for me my husband is the one that is more particular with the way that I fold his clothing so when I do his clothes I definitely take my time but with mine as you can see I'm just throwing it together the best I can And the last thing I'm going to do is vacuum and then I will be done in my room. Now we're going to go ahead and move into my entryway. All I really need to do in here is stack our bills in the mail container and then put things back where they belong. For instance, this water gun belongs in the kitchen or the living room as well as my glasses which belong in the bedroom. And then I'll go ahead and polish up this table. And whenever I find a little piece of something that looks like it came from a car part, I just go ahead and put those in one of the two drawers that are underneath the table because it's probably something that my husband needs and I have no idea what it is. Now I am in my dining room and I'm going to go ahead and open up both of the windows to get some good natural light in here. 
I'm not going to do too much in here because as you can see it's not very messy at the moment. I am going to keep out the um, the car seat as well as the baby bag because we do have a grocery pickup that we need to pick up in about an hour or so. As soon as Jacob wakes up, we're gonna go ahead and take care of that. So I'm gonna leave that out. I'm gonna go ahead and dust the table, vacuum, and I also need to empty out Jacob's diaper genie. So I wanted to go ahead and say thank you once again for clicking on this video and joining me today to do some cleaning. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing to my channel as well as hitting that bell notification so that you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video, which is at least twice a week. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos. It truly means the world to me. After vacuuming, I'm just going to finish up by polishing the table as well as the china cabinet. And I noticed my centerpiece was a little crooked, so I went in ahead and I took care of that. We are now moving into the kitchen and I'm going to start off by vacuuming. So one of the hacks that I wanted to show you guys once again was the one where you use two 3M hooks to keep cords up and out of the way. All you have to do is put the cords the way you see here with the hook ends touching and just wrap the cords around them and there you go. It's out of your way. Another hack that I use these hooks for is inside my uh, cabinet door. I have one up here and then a second one halfway down and I use these as you can see for Jacob's pacifier clips as well as his bibs and they are all in one area where I keep his formula and his waters. So those are just a couple of little ways to use the 3M hooks. Another way, another way to use the 3M hooks is to put it on the inside door of the pantry and you can use it to hang um, whatever groceries that hang. I use this hook especially for the large bags of assorted chips. So I'm going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher right now and as you can see I am having to once again dry my dishes by hand that are from the top rack. I don't know why the top rack doesn't dry as much but I also got splashed so that kind of annoyed me a little bit. But anywho I also want to tell you guys in a couple of seconds one of the new things that I bought from Dollar Tree. Another thing that I purchased from Dollar Tree recently are these 
four glass mixing bowls. I use these when I need to sort um, my dry ingredients from my wet ingredients. If I need to do soy sauce and some sugar when I'm cooking, I'll go ahead and put these in here and they were four for a dollar. Now that I am finished putting away the dishes, I'm going to go ahead and declutter and wipe down the countertops. I'm also going to take out the gray basket that holds all of my used hand towels that I use for cleaning in the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and throw those into the washing machine in just a minute. While I was going into the living room, I realized that I did not tidy up Jacob's changing area. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And then I also need to go into the laundry room and grab another package of wipes. The last thing I need to do is, be, is to be changing him and not have anything to wipe his little tushy with. So we are in my living room now, and as you can see, Jacob has joined us. He decided to wake up a little bit early from his nap today. But I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up in here a little bit and then we will be done with my cleaning video for today. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the corner in the living room that has all of Jacob's toys. I want to go ahead and move this little uh, puppy walker as well as the stuffed bear that was on top of it and these pillows. I want to go ahead and move those upstairs. I'm going to pick up the basket like you see here and put it on top of the little toy chest and this little um, playmat is going to be going upstairs into his room as well. I'm definitely wanting to declutter this area and make it look a little bit more open. And I'm also going to vacuum in this area. I will be honest and say that this area is not an area that I vacuum often because it is covered up by all of Jacob's toys. But when I moved everything, I saw a ton of dust that needed to get taken care of. Sadly, I know that we are going to be having to move this swing out of the living room soon. Jacob is within the weight limit to use it. He still has about five more pounds to gain before he cannot use this swing anymore. But he is a tall little guy and so I just don't see him being comfortable in this swing anymore. And honestly, he hasn't used it in probably about two months.
Now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the dog bed area. I am also going to switch to a handheld attachment so that I can vacuum up along the floorboards where a lot of dog hair has collected behind the beds. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I am all done cleaning and it is now time to give my little man some love. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys will be notified every time I upload a new video, which is at least twice a week. And if you guys are returning subscribers, thank you so much once again for watching my videos. I truly appreciate it. I will see you guys back in a couple of days in a new video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.